Hi, Tom Foley, coach for Buckeye Cable and BCSN, and welcome you to another edition of Sports Flash. For me, this isn't just another edition of Sports Flash. Great pitcher for the Detroit Tigers, Dave Rosema. Dave, it's an honor to have you here. You know, uh, a guy who wore the English D like you did, I think it's the best logo in sports, by the way. But you were, do. Yeah, you were a great pitcher for the Tigers. Ralph Hulk, uh, Sparky Anderson were your managers. Take me back there a little bit. What were some of the things that just indelibly etched in your mind about your time with the Tigers? Well, I mean, back, I started in 77. Ralph Hogg was my first coach. He said, you know what, Rosie? Give me 150%. You have a, you have a job. I had a, the honor to play with Mark and Bert Fidrich. Super, super guy. Down he was to your earth. roommate, right? A yeah, roommate for three years. We did X amount of camps together. Uh, you know, uh, rehab camps. So we were both injured. So, but we, we hit it off. We had a good time. And then we had Sparky Anderson, which is uh, a mentor in my life. Sparky was uh, more of a kind of a dad to a Father lot of us. Figure kind of guy. No, he yeah. really was. He was so super, and he was uh, he he was sincere, sincere, and he meant a lot to uh, all of us. Gibby, Tram, Lou, myself. He was a main guy. And help me with this, Rosie. You you were such a great pitcher. I remember those days so well. But how can Trammel and Whitaker now? You know. The best double play combination in the modern era of baseball for almost 20 years, 19 years, nothing like them. How can they possibly not be in the Hall of Fame? Dave, I don't get that. Well, I have an issue with the Hall of Fame. Okay. Inside my own heart, my mind. I mean, you got Mickey Lillage, you got Jack Morris, you got Lou and Tramp. You got you got press writers. I mean, you're you're a commentator, you know, yes, you're right. in sports, but the press writers follow them around 100% of the time. Detroit, Detroit is not that, that great of a part of publicity. It's not the media town New York it, is or it, Los Angeles. It really isn't. So these guys, uh, they get the low end of the deal. They're unbelievable. They they match up to Joe Morgan. They match up to oh, Ozzy absolutely. Smith. They match up to different pitchers. They're, I mean, Jack Morris, to me, it's what you meant for a team. And Jack Morris went out four championships, four World Series rings. What he meant for the 84 team, he was our horse. Yeah. Um, Tram Whitaker played 19 years, the best combination ever in baseball, and uh, they don't even get consideration. And it's like, it just, it just hurts me yeah. inside that the 84 team was not respected, and not anybody even in the Hall of Fame off that team after 30 years. It just, excuse my language, pisses me off. <laughs> it's okay, you have a right, Dave. Dave, what you know? <laughs> you had so many great years and so many great memories. Yeah. Give me a, give me a Tiger hitter. That you were kind of, you just watched him hit and you said, man, this guy is just special. Who would that be? A Tiger hitter? Yeah. You know, it would have to be uh, Tram and Whitaker because the reason why, Tram was a little chink hitter. Right. So was Lou. They came up to be power hitters as maturity and the muscle, bigger. Figure the You figure the game out. You kids, you figure the game out. And it, and it takes a long time, even as pros or youth or high school or amateur. You figure it out, and then you, you get better. But those guys... Tram could drive the ball, and, and Whitaker had a sweet home run swing. He I had mean, 28 he, home runs. 21, and so did, so 28 did, dingers, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? So I, those guys, from when we began in 77, for little little hitters to power hitters to be respectable was those guys. And Gibby. Gibby was terrible. Gibby would strike out every other day as a youngster. Then he finally figured out professional pitching, and then his career took off from there. The, the last eight years of Gibby's career were the best. The first eight, <laughs> it was it was hard. It was, it was, it was hard for him, and he was yeah. hard on himself too. Well, he was hard for himself, yeah, but you yeah. know, it's one of those things where we're professional pitchers. We find a weakness in you and you, and and you. It, you're going to exploit we, we, it. We were, we'll tell everybody yeah. we're, going to, we're going to beat you up because right. we're professionals. Right. Dave, you're such a great pitcher with the Tigers. You know, to me, it's, it's interesting. We're a network that we have 35 high schools in our footprint. Uh, yeah. A lot of kids playing baseball. Kids are going to watch you. They're going to want to be Dave Rosema and have that kind of career in the majors. What would you tell a young high school kid today? First of all, when should he start throwing curves? Grade school? Is that, you know, no? 
Uh, you know, what, what, how about the arm? What, how should the arm be protected? Well, first of all, everybody, all you kids that play baseball, have fun. Don't take it too serious, but you don't work as hard as you can. Give, give, a, give your coach 150%. Do it. As far as your arm, see, this is a fragile tool. Elbow, the, the, your, your, your shoulder is a fragile tool, just like your voice right. and your microphone. If it leaves you, you're done. But you take care of it. Don't overthrow it. If your arm's ever hurt or feels bad, tell your coach, that, you know what, coach? I don't like it. And take your days up. Ice it. Um, and long toss. Make it stronger. I did it my whole life. And throw it a couch. Uh, uh, Rosie, what, you know, we're so honored to have you here for the uh, Wounded Warrior amputee softball team. Yeah. What, what drew you here? Who got you involved? You know, it, it was uh, co uh, uh, County Fresh. They're very, gar I'm sorry, uh, Garden Fresh. But they told me about it. But I, I support the Wounded Wars because, you know what? These guys give their lives for our country. That guy right there, I don't remember his name, but I listened to a story. I mean, you you get, he's a, he was a, he had an eight pack on him, went to war and got a bomb, right. hit his car. Right. And now, now he's struggling to come back to be fit in America. You know what? It seems like America, you know, for you serve your country, they have to take care of you 100%. All the way until Absolutely you do. feel confident and you're ready to go into society. I mean, I, I see people here from all, all, all sizes, all ages, and you, you support America. It's our. I don't want to go to war. Neither do you. Right. And the guys that do, you have to take care of 100. percent Yeah, it's it's the highest honor. The men and women that serve and protect our country. There's no higher honor, and we need to honor them just in that fashion, Dave. You know what? I mean, that makes this country so special is our freedom. Yes. Well, why do you think we have freedom? Because the no, no other nations want to take us over because our military is so strong. And it's those guys that live, give their lives. And, and then when they are injured, they come back hurt. It's our responsibility to take care of them. You, no are, matter what. you are spot on. Dave, you, you, always, you always wore the English D with style and class and pride. You are a great pitcher for the Tigers. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Anytime. Dave Rose. Call me up. I'll be back. I'll do it anytime. All right, Dave. Thank you. Tom Coley Coast for Buckeye Cable and BCSN.